Many dog owners and enthusiasts are familiar with the German Shepherds. However, not everyone has heard of the King Shepherd. With their name as noble as their appearance, King Shepherds share some of its ancestry with German Shepherds. They do have similarities and differences, so if you're wondering which is the best for your home, make sure to watch this video until the end, because for today, we'll talk about King Shepherds and German Shepherds. When comparing two dog breeds, there are various factors that need to be considered, including their history, temperament, appearance, and needs. This will help you decide which between the two is perfect for your home. In a little while, we'll have a head-to-head -head comparison of King Shepherds and German Shepherds, so make sure to stay with us. Hey there and welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you're looking for a channel that features dog-related stuff every day, then you're on the right track, so make sure to subscribe to our channel. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, today we'll talk about King Shepherds and German Shepherds. So. Let's get started right away. History German Shepherd True to their name, German Shepherds originated in Germany in 1899 and were bred by Captain Max von Stefanitz. Instead of focusing on their looks, these dogs were bred for their intelligence and excellence in the field. The result is a smart, courageous, highly energetic, and obedient dog who makes excellent sheep herders. When World War I began, German Shepherds became very popular not only in Germany, but also across the globe, including the United Kingdom and America. However, as herding dogs became less common, German Shepherds are now popularly used as police and military dogs, search and rescue dogs, as well as service dogs. Of course, they also do well as family guardians and companions. Currently, German Shepherds rank third as the most popular dog breed in 2021, recognized by the American Kennel Club or AKC. King Shepherd On the other hand, King Shepherds are not purebred dogs. Instead, they are the result of mating a German Shepherd with a Shiloh Shepherd or Great Pyrenees or a combination of all. These dogs were first created in the 1990s and have not yet been recognized by various breed organizations, including the AKC. Since the two dogs were developed in different time periods, it also means that they were bred for different purposes. King Shepherds were first bred by two American breeders, namely David Turkheimer and Shelley Watts Cross, to create a bigger, more gentle, and healthier version of a German Shepherd. However, since King Shepherds are not yet recognized by the AKC, they can't compete in AKC dog shows. They are also defined as a rare breed and often referred to as gentle giants. Appearance Male German Shepherds stand between 24 to 26 inches, or 61 to 66 centimeters at the shoulders, with weight varying from 65 to 90 pounds, or 29.4 to 40.8 kilograms. Meanwhile, females are a bit smaller, with a height from 22 to 24 inches, 61 centimeters, and a weight of 50 to 70 pounds, or 22.6 to 31.7 kilograms. Meanwhile, King Shepherds are larger than German Shepherds, Typically, males stand between 27 to 31 inches, or 69 to 81 centimeters, with a weight of 90 to 150 pounds, 41 to 68 kilograms. On the other hand, females have a height that ranges from 25 to 28 inches, or 64 to 71 centimeters, with a weight of 75 to 110 pounds, or 34 to 50 kilograms. Compared to German Shepherds, they also have a wider and more square frame. Unlike GSDs, King Shepherds also do not have a sloping back. Usually, King Shepherds have longer coats than German Shepherds, but they do also come in smooth-coated variety. Both dog breeds have double coats. The top coat is rough and weather-resistant, while the undercoat is soft and it also provides them insulation. 
Both come in various colors, including black, black and tan, bicolor, and sable. King Shepherds and GSDs are heavy shedders. They need to be brushed twice or thrice a week to remove loose hair, as well as to evenly distribute their natural skin oils. And we're already halfway through this video. How do you feel about the two dog breeds so far? Do you already have a choice between the two? Let us know your thoughts later on, because for now, we have a few more things to talk about these amazing dog breeds. So, let's continue. Personality Typically, both the King Shepherd and German Shepherds are loving towards their family. They also get along with children, but because of their size, you need to supervise their interaction with them, just to ensure that no accidents will happen. German Shepherds are highly energetic and sturdy dogs that were built for work. They like to please their owners, making training sessions a breeze. When surrounded by strangers, these dogs can easily become nervous, so you have to socialize them at a young age to help them become more welcoming of strangers. Towards their family, GSDs are affectionate dogs who love to be included in all family activities. They are clingy dogs who thrive in the presence of their humans, which means that they will suffer from separation anxiety if they are left alone for long periods of time. On the other hand, King Shepherds almost have the same personality as German Shepherds except that they are more gentle and kind in nature. While GSDs were bred to be working dogs, King Shepherds were developed to become companion dogs as well as working dogs. They move a little bit slower than GSDs, and they are also gentle giants, which makes them excellent family pets. Exercise As mentioned, German Shepherds are more energetic than King Shepherds. On average, they require at least two hours of exercise every day, which can be broken down into two sessions. These dogs benefit from walks, runs, play sessions, and training sessions. On the other hand, King Shepherds need at least an hour of physical activity. Both dogs can be used to work. Aside from physical exercise, mental stimulation is also important for these dogs. You can do this by engaging them in canine sports, including agility, herding, tracking, and more. Without physical and mental exercise, they can become bored which can lead to development of destructive behaviors, such as excessive barking, chewing, digging, and scratching. Training When it comes to trainability, both dogs are easy to train, all thanks to their intelligence and eagerness to please their owners. One thing to keep in mind is that King Shepherds are more sensitive than GSDs. Therefore, you have to be extra careful in dealing with them. For both dogs, make sure to use positive reinforcement techniques. Although King Shepherds require more gentleness when it comes to training, treats, praises, and playtime are some of the rewards you can give for their good behavior. However, if it is your first time handling a dog that can be used for protection, you might need to have a guide on how to properly train your dog. So, for the best training course for your dog, we recommend Brain Training for Dogs. Brain Training for Dogs uses a training system that took 10 years to perfect. They believe that every dog has a hidden intelligence that can only be unleashed when proper training techniques are used. Not only does their training system encourage a good attitude, but it also eliminates bad behaviors, which include aggression, jumping, digging, whining, chewing, excessive barking, impulse control, hyperactivity, ignoring commands, potty training, and so much more, thus helping to create a well-behaved, obedient dog that listens to you well. So get access now at Brain Training for Dogs by checking out the link in the description below. Health Since King Shepherds were bred with the goal of having a healthier version of German Shepherds, it means that they are less prone to health issues compared to the latter. In addition, despite them being bigger than GSDs, they have longer lifespans at about 10 to 11 years old, with GSDs having only 7 to 10 years, although it is possible for some to reach 13 years of age. Since King Shepherds have German Shepherds ancestry, 
Both dogs share the same genetic health issues. Some of these include hip and elbow dysplasia, bloat, degenerative myelopathy, hypothyroidism, and von Willebrand's disease. Although King Shepherds have less chances of inheriting these health concerns compared to GSDs, it is still possible for them to suffer from the mentioned health concerns. And there you have it, the differences between King Shepherds and German Shepherds. So, who's the winner between these two dog breeds? Only you can decide that. Regardless of your choice, make sure that you provide your dogs with their needs, such as sufficient exercise, healthy diet, regular veterinary checkups, and plenty of time and affection so that they grow to be jolly and well-behaved dogs. So long as you raise them well, these dogs will be helpful family members who will cherish you and make you feel loved every day. After watching this video, which among these two dog breeds do you think best fits your home? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. To be notified when we upload new videos, make sure to click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.